The Oregon Ducks will host the Idaho Vandals in week one. There's already been some big line movement in this game. What does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about it. But before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. In fact, if you've got just a few days left to take advantage of my early bird football special, that gets you all my college football and NFL through the end of September for one low price of 249 bucks. That means you get week one for free. In addition to that, we've got a buy two, get one free special, any capper of your choice, site-wide. Uh, the details are in the ticker below. As always, though, no pressure to buy anything, no purchase necessary. Feel free to tune in and just absorb the free content. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button. That'll allow me to keep on putting out these videos. We got Oregon, a 44.5 point favorite, total sitting at 62.5, and, and the bookmakers are struggling to put out accurate numbers for these FCS versus FBS games. We've already seen a couple of examples of that this season with Montana State against New Mexico. Montana State opened as a four and a half point favorite. They got bet all the way up to a two touchdown favorite on the road at New Mexico. They barely got the win and failed to cover. And then you had Hawaii opening as a 29 point favorite. That game got bet up all the way up to 41 and a half. Hawaii didn't cover either. Uh, Oregon, though, they're a covering machine, especially in week one versus an inferior opponent. They did score 81 points against Portland State in week one last year. Uh, they also blew out Hawaii and Colorado at home early in the season. Although you look at this Idaho team and uh, the Vandals were nine and four, second in the big sky. Uh, they actually beat that Montana State team that got so much respect. Montana State was the biggest ever favorite in a game between an FCS team and an FBS team. Um, and yeah, they, they beat them. They also lost by just two points to the Big Sky champs, the Montana Grizzlies, another team that gets a ton of respect. So there might be people looking at this Idaho Vandals team and thinking, you know, they compete with the upper echelon teams in FCS. You got teams like North Dakota State, South Dakota State, they're on the road at Colorado and Oklahoma State. They're only getting single-digit numbers, and you got Idaho getting 44 and a half points. That might be tempting, but I will point out the problem with Idaho is uh, they might have overachieved last season, especially in light of the fact that they have an inexperienced offensive line that just isn't that good, even to FCS standards. And uh, they're not a very desirable destination in the transfer portal, and a bunch of their uh, starters transferred out, including their quarterback who went to Oregon State. They also lost two top receivers to the NFL. So they're going to struggle to repeat what they did last year in the Big Sky Conference. And that means they're really going to struggle on the road in Eugene in week one. For me, while I would have liked to have that early number and I would have loved Oregon at uh, a lower number, even at 44 and a half, it's Oregon or pass. Not a ton of value there with Oregon, and this number is probably only going one way. But if you need to be on this game, like I said, it's Oregon or pass. If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, hit me up in the comments below. I'll get